Plus is supposed to go into the minus, I guess. Yes. This, so, these, this is generally how things work. <laughs> but so this is this so so this way we don't put it uh the wrong way. Oh shit. Oh my gosh, what did you do? I don't know, it went further than it was supposed to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we broke it! <laughs> oh my gosh, you you legit broke it. Hello everybody and welcome to a very special Techno Tokyo Theater. We have the Switch here and we also have a special guest. Ah, Robbie, that's right. And uh, this is my friend Robbie and actually the sole person I have to really thank for allowing me to get this Switch uh, day one. Because to be honest, I waited outside <laughs> at a GameStop last night and they all waited out there almost for an hour to find out that they only had two Switches left. And since I didn't pre-order, I wasn't one of those people that were able to get one, unfortunately. Yeah, if you didn't pre-order, you did not get the the, the exceptions. Mm -hmm. But generally, if you didn't pre-order, yeah, pretty much, you pretty much, you were switched back to PlayStation. It's pretty much a wrap. So I was very fortunate to be able to get this uh, day one. All right, so we we good to go. We're gonna be doing an unboxing today uh, of the Switch. And I also picked up my very first Amiibo. It's the Wolf Link Amiibo that uh, goes with the Switch here, as well as the uh, Breath of the Wild uh, Zelda game. So that should be pretty fun. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, un unbox it now. So I'm gonna open it. Uh, here's the contents right here. Pretty uh, this console system, and as well as the Joy-Con controllers. Very clever name they decided to use there. That's one word for it. Clever is one word for it. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and get these little guys out right here. Yeah, first. Huh? No. Alright. One to one to share, as they say. Do you want me to go? To share it? Share the joy. Alright. Oh it's what it's what Miyamoto would want. You gotta share the joy. Alright, so there you go. You can kinda get a glimpse of uh, all angles of the device. Yeah. Yeah, little button up back there. It's got two switches, two switches on the switch. A lot of switches on this switch, you know. And then you got some buttons on this side here for when you're playing it, you know, independently. That's for a little crampy, you know, a little, little, little crampy. But you know, it, I guess a little, a little crampy is a little bit of an understatement. Well, this is this is. I like the weight to this thing. It feels like a like a quality product. Yeah, no, I was I was kind of I was kind of thinking. I would, I would get a thing and it would be like, just like having, you know, a, a game in your hands. Like, like a, just an empty disc or something like, like a game box. No, that's, it's, it's, it's pretty hefty, which is, which is good. I'm still, well, I'm still more concerned about <laughs> stuff like that. I'm, about, uh, I'm gonna show you the, the next uh, layer of the box here. Let's see if it's on the other side. We've got, Three compartments here. One seems like it houses the cords, which is standard. It's an HDMI cord, I believe. You know, it's pretty basic. Hopefully, the, the charger is really what I would like to be quick. Like, I hope this thing charges quickly. It's heavy. Like, look at this thing. This is a this is a pretty big charger to be carrying around if you're going to be charging your your, your system on the go. Like, this, yeah, yeah, this, this is this is yeah. This is definitely not. Oh, I'm just going to put my Wiki Link, you know, little DS charger into the wall. This is. Like, you, you, you're trying to do some work on this. So then we have, these are the uh, Joy-Con, what is it called, grips, maybe? Uh, not the Joy-Con grips, those are something else. I don't know what those are called. And I believe this, well, the plus, it has a plus sign on here. But this one has a minus. So I'm guessing this isn't the right one, maybe? So I guess I have to, are you, are you, you want me to be confused? Because this one has a plus on it. Oh shit! You know what? <laughs> so maybe the plus is supposed no, to go. No, don't, don't break. Don't Hold on. don't break it. The plus is supposed to go into the minus, I guess. Yes. This, so, these, this is generally how things work. <laughs> but so this is this so so this way we don't put it uh, the wrong way. Oh shit! Oh my way. gosh! What did you do? I don't know. It went further than it was supposed to. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we broke it. <laughs> oh my gosh! You you legit broke it. Why the fuck do they make these fucking devices so so difficult? These are supposed to be for kids. If if your look your thing looks like this, 
you done did something wrong. This this is how so this is how it's supposed to look. Like, easy fix. It just comes off. It's not okay. No reason for an alarm. Let's show them the correct way to do it. Since you since you so, are the expert. Minus to minus. Make sure that the minus is at the top, okay. right along, so that they go together. Look at that. All right. Simple. Not not simple. How you try? Okay. No, no, I try. You do it. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> this switch is being destroyed as we speak, man. Piece by piece. This shit is not as easy as it looks, okay? <laughs> this shit is difficult, alright? I, I will I will say out of all the sin all the uh, somebody else said this on another review. Out of all the accessories that's supposed to slip in and slide into this thing, yeah. these little uh extra trigger things, the, the strap, I think that's what it's called, the Joy-Con strap. Yeah. The most janky out of all of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I probably will never, this is the reality, I'm never going to use this shit, because this is already a lot of work, trying to slip this shit on and off, you don't really need this part of the device, and I'm, I, every time I put this thing on and off, I feel like I'm about to break something, so I'll never use this shit, but we have to check the rest of the context of the box first, so actually, let's go ahead and uh, see what else is left in here, and we'll start with this, instructions, okay, so, instructions, pretty basic stuff, nothing too uh, special there. Um, uh, this here looks like it's going to be the base. So, I don't think there's going to be anything too uh, elaborate about it, but there's a lot of shit that comes in this thing. But uh, there you have it. Here's the base. Um, here's the back of it. Open this up. I don't even know how. Okay, it just pops open easily. And I mean, you put your, uh, your cords in here. And it seemed like they, they come out this way, so like you, so it doesn't look as messy when you have it on display. All right, so the last item in the box, which is the uh, controller attachment thing. Joy-Con, Joy-Con grip. I thought this was, I thought this other thing was a Joy-Con grip. Which one is this? Is a fucking Joy-Con? Joy-Con strap. Joy-Con grip. Oh, 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 look, all these freaking terms. No one's gonna remember this. Uh, Joy-Con grip. There we go. I'm gonna try again at trying to put these things in here and hopefully they go on a lot smoother than they did with the last device that we tried to do. So they snap in actually rather nicely. Here is the uh, Joy-Con grip. Uh, you know, it does slide in pretty easy. It looks like it slides out just as easily, un unlike the, the strap. And uh, you know, I think that my last comment as far as these accessories are concerned is that to be honest, a lot of the accessories like the, the grip here, the, um, the base, um, and the little straps, all this stuff I, kind of feels a little flimsy and cheap. But the actual system itself is sturdy, and this actually feels like where most of the money is going into. Alright, so pretty much what we have here is the system finally, again. And uh, we're gonna actually go ahead and put the Joy Cons into the system for the first time. I thought it was supposed to get like a little glow, like some feedback there. Maybe it did. It's not on. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I was waiting for the I was waiting for the switch to happen. You know, I was waiting for the the ding. You know, a little sound effect or something. But my bad. Last, last time I checked, whenever my phone is off, it doesn't make any sounds. So here goes the other Joy Con into the grip and you hit yeah. a click, you hit a click. The, the click. the click is nice. The click is very satisfying. Oh my gosh, the click is so nice. So, which one of these is the on switch? I'm gonna have to find it. I'm thinking it's this one. Do you hold it? Do you tap it? Yeah. Okay, maybe it's this one. Hold on, don't, 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 don't tell me. I'll figure this out, okay? I, I, I'll figure this out. Just like I figured out how to use the Joy-Con straps, okay? I, I found a way. You ain't you Maybe, didn't figure that out. I think we found a power button. A boom boom. Oh, it's on top. Apparently, up, up here. Where the not, not just apparently, it is. It, uh, apparently, they. Uh, oh, oh, you heard it. that? That's a little too jazzy, man. They, the Nintendo a little too full of themselves with that little jingle. Yeah, you well, they they told me to detach it, which is weird. They, they want they wanted to sync it um, wirelessly it, it, first. Yeah, wirelessly. So yeah, that's exactly right. Alright, so this is pretty much the first screen you come to. You get to select an icon, um, a couple different Nintendo characters you have to choose from. But I mean, <laughs> I think the choice is obvious. We're gonna go for now. 
with your boy, your boy Link right there in front of Wind Waker. And uh, that's that's the icon we're gonna use for now. That's the probably one of the few games I've actually played uh, from these other franchises. All this time it says the setup is finally complete. Then press the home button, which I think is right here. To see the the menu screen, which is like a hella light right now. Anything on there. <laughs> I was expecting something special uh, here in the in the UI. Game works out of the box. Okay. Mebo works out of the box. Okay. But it doesn't work out of the box. Uh nothing. Not anymore. <laughs> good, that's a very good explanation. Hope you guys enjoyed this chaotic unboxing that we just went through here. His fault. Uh, damn near destroyed this fucking system. <laughs> but you know, uh it's alright because we made it through. Um, uh, final comments on the system. What do you, what do you think about the system? I like Zelda. I like, I like how, um, how kind of heavy, kind of weighted the system. The system feels like it's well built. So my initial impressions are positive. I don't feel like I bought a piece of junk. I feel like I bought something that was quality. I feel like I bought something that I'm going to be playing with all the time. This is probably, sorry, to hate to see them, but this is probably going to be my go-to as far as portable for a good while, especially since and, I'm able to play like In the event they actually release any games for the device. Now, because, now this, this, is, this is a little bit of a contention I, because they, they, they've got a lot of stuff coming out for it that I'm really excited about. Allegedly. No, but but we all know how Nintendo's been very spotty with their with, 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 with third party support in the past. So what I'm optimistic that this system will change that, but there is a little bit of hesitation. I'm gonna explain why. Because this system is they're trying to advertise it like it's a home system, but it's clearly not as powerful as the PlayStation for all the Xbox. So they're gonna still segregate the market again. Whereas for certain games they come out on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 are not gonna come to this system. That's just the reality of it. Now I do love my Switch. I think it's gonna be a fantastic system so I do prefer to play games on the go. I, I, whenever I'm out the house and going to work, whatever I'm doing, I wanna take my system with me. That's a great benefit. But the reality is that the system just is not as powerful as the other systems that are on the market. So there will be certain games that are not gonna to come to it, unfortunately. That is just the painful truth. Um, per, my, just give my quick, short opinion on the 3D, uh, I'm about to call it 3DS, good lord. On the Switch, um, system seems like it's made very well. The uh, attachments, not so much. They kind of feel like some shit. And feel like they feel really cheap, like they're gonna break pretty easily. But the actual system itself, the Joy-Cons in the system is hard, it's hefty, it's heavy, it's quality shit. And I'm looking forward to seeing what, happen, what, what they release on the system. I really want them to produce some software. So to end this, I heard that these games actually make a pretty nice snack. No. So, no. I no. think we should no. see no. and no. test the waters no. and see what no. this bad boy no. tastes no. like. Because you know, I'm a little, I'm a little, little pause. You know, I use a snacky snack. And Zelda's looking pretty damn good right now. So even though we're not going to, uh, I'm going to be playing Zelda, but not on the, in, in this video necessarily, I definitely want to show you guys uh, what the, the, the case, the cartridge, and uh, the back of the case looks like here. But more importantly, I'm eager to see what this bad boy tastes like, because I hear it is quite delicious. Would you, would you like to go first? Did you try this already? I ain't, I ain't licking your switch. You ain't licking my switch? I ain't cool. licking your switch. They like they, they call it the bait and switch. You know what I'm saying? Cause I went through a lot of fucking trouble trying to get this switch, and you went through a lot of trouble. Well, I'm, okay, we went through a lot of trouble. We went through a lot of trouble. <laughs> a lot of trouble happened. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna the land in inevitable. We're gonna see what this card should say. Like three, two, one. Mmm, 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 mmm. You mm. ain't, he, he, he didn't even lick it. I did. It's, you can see the little moisture from where my tongue was at. Nah, nah, see. It's, he, it's, 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 it's got a sharpness to it. I will say, I, mean, I gotta go in for a second. Cause that, that's. Nah, nah. I ain't getting good licky lick. Mm. So try, 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 ah. try, try, try this ah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Delicious. Stay in school, kids. Delicious. Kids, look. This is movie. This is dinner, movie, and a snack, all in one. I'm telling you, if you get hungry, 
get yourself one of these cartridges right here. You can play a game and you can eat it afterwards, you know? If you just that, but, eat well, a snack. Well, that, that's exactly why they made it that way. Did you hear that? They, they made it intensely. Intentionally like so that kids could also have a snack when they finish playing the game. So that the, if the dog tried to lick it or the kid tried to eat it. Th yeah. Then they would have a satisfying meal. I, I think I, 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 I highly encourage, don't play this game. This this a delicacy. You must, you gotta, you gotta marinate this joint, you know? Put it on a plate beside a steak and some potatoes and enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself some, uh, what is this game called again? The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Thank you. Enjoy yourself some Breath of the Wild. Thank you. This has been a Techno Tokyo Theater video. Please stay tuned to Techno Tokyo Theater for future anime and gaming content. And thanks for watching, guys. I'm calling my agent.